Hey guys, welcome to our channel, please click the subscribe button, and click the bell icon, and never miss another update from Almighty Java. In this video, we will see how to integrate React.js with Spring Boot. Open our GitHub page. There is a project there we create only REST API and the project name is Book REST API. If you are following our videos then you aware about this project similar kind of integration we did for Angular as well. See here is the project. Let's download this project. Downloaded successfully. Let's unzip this. Let's import this project in IntelliJ. Import as a Maven project. Follow the steps. Project imported successfully. If you want to know how we developed this project then there is a video which we created, the video link is available in the description. Let's run this project. The project started and running on 8081 port. Let's open readme md file. See here are the links and JSON requests so you can perform all the CRUD operations. Let's execute get request. See it's working fine. Similarly by get by id also working. The same way it will work for the post. Put and delete as well. See this JSON response is containing the book related information. Using React.js we will show this data in nice tabular format. Along with this, we will perform all the CRUD operations using React.js. Once this all done then we will see how to authenticate the user using JWT and other advanced level changes. First, we will finish all this. Let's see what the things this readme md file contains. So basically this file contains all possible URLs and 4 to 5 JSON requests for the book so you can directly copy and exec. Ute post request. Now let's close this file. Let's create a web app folder inside the main. Now open this folder in terminal. Let's execute the command which will create React application. Command is like npx create new app react.js. Here just to make it simple I am giving application name itself react.js. Application created successfully. Now open react.js folder. Now start this application using npm start. Application started. Now let's open this in browser. See it's working fine. We did the same thing as we did in the last video. Now open app.js file. Just change the message. See message changed. Now let's install Twitter Bootstrap. Let's search for React Bootstrap. Let's open the first URL. Click on get started. See here is the command. Let's execute this. Stop the server first. Now execute. Command executed successfully. Now we need to include this link in the index.html file. So let's copy this and paste it. The open index.html file. Paste it before the title. Change the title to the bookshop. Remove all unwanted code. Now let's start the server again. Server started. See you are not feeling any difference. In next video when we will create component then you will see the difference. Now let's delete all the unwanted code from app.js file. See the simple message is coming. Now remove this title default logo to book logo. See it changed. Change this message to something else like welcome to the bookshop.
Now let's see after install Bootstrap plugin which changed and the package JSON file. See here are the entry for Bootstrap. Now close all. See whatever we created till now if you want you can download this from GitHub. I will show you where you can find this project. See here is the project called Book REST API React JS. See here are the changes. That's it for this video. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.